I've got here a typical example of a mass mass calculation in stoichiometry where you are given the balanced equation and you are told that one of your reactants, in this case nitrogen, is in excess, meaning there's more than enough of it, and we start out with 195 grams of fluorine present. And the question then asks what mass of the product would be formed. And the way that we do that is we know we cannot compare masses of different substances, so our first step is always going to be to calculate the number of moles of the substance that has been given using this formula here where the mass has been given as 195 grams the molar mass we have calculated as 38 grams so we know that 195 grams of fluorine is 5.13 moles of fluorine now once we've got this we can compare fluorine to our product nitrogen fluoride and we take our balancing numbers or the coefficients to see that the ratio of fluorine to nitrogen is a ratio of 3 to 2. We can simplify this by saying it is also seen as a ratio of 1 to 2 over 3. I've found that by dividing both sides by 3. What this then means is that if we start out with 5.13 moles of fluorine, as we've calculated over here, we can then calculate what number of moles of ammonia that would form by multiplying it by this 2 over 3 over here, which gives us a value of 3.42 moles. The last step here is because the question is asked for what mass of nitrogen fluoride has been formed, we convert that into a mass by saying our mass of NF3 is equal to the number of moles multiplied by the molar mass that in this case is 3.42 times the molar mass that we can calculate to be 71 which means that we would form 242.82 grams of NF3.